Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Emma and here we talk about homeschool, motherhood and lifestyle. I have an eight year old boy and today I want to bring you the book that we are using currently for our nature studies and it's Exploring Nature activity book for kids. It has 50 creative projects to spark curiosity in the outdoors and this is by Kim Andrews and I just want to give you a flip through the pages okay guys so here I have the 50 creative projects to spark curiosity in the outdoors by Kim Andrews and this is exploring nature and I just want to give you a flip through the pages and the reason why I decide to go with this book is because it's very simple it goes very well with grammar which is the first uh, language lessons and you're going to see a little bit why so I just want to show you guys now how it looks inside and then I will show you how it just goes very well with uh, our first language lessons so here we have that it has the skills for a naturalist and this is the naturalist toolkit and this is chapter one and here we have activity one nature detective activity two look around you activity three use your words activity four picture these activity five map it out Activity six, take a walk. Activity seven, nature exchange. Eight, cabinet of curiosities. Nine, out of an out on a limb. Sorry, and Monette the naturalist. And I love the color. I love the images. I love how simple is the layout of the book. I like how everything it has a side where it says the skills, the materials. So you have a list in here already for you then you go in here and it explains everything in this it has a little box here that it always says try at home or it gives you some type of information so in here we have look around you and as i say it has the skills that they are going to be learning and with the activity and in here we have the list of the materials it always introduces the activity and in here it gives you the instructions for the activity beautiful images again the same skills language arts and reason why i love this book is because again it goes very well with our first language lessons it has four adjective lists so they are while they are doing the projects they are actually learning the how to do adjective and as well they're reviewing the nouns and all that jazz that goes with the grammar. In here, the materials, the skills, some introduction for the activity, and then we have the instructions for the activity that we're going to create. And we did this activity and it was really good. He enjoyed it a lot. And in here, it gives you a little information. Like I, uh, again, like I said, at the beginning did you know a few years ago I came across a leaf I had never seen before after some research I discovered it came from a chestnut oak tree it looked nothing like the oak tree leaves I was familiar with soon I learned there are about 600 different types of oak trees worldwide and over 60 oak species in the United States so it gives information and facts and uh, it just does everything in a fun way at the beginning I thought I was a little bit worried because I saw uh, some of the reviews and it is stated that the book was more towards uh, between teenager to adult kid but I think that it goes perfect and I was happy to give it a try even though the reviews were more stating that it, the book was more uh, oriented towards uh, a, a, an older kid. This is how it's looking inside. Beautiful activities. And good images and information for them. So it has activities, 
with the information and uh, how to create them, instructions on how to create those activities. Very simple book, very beautiful images. So it goes like that for the rest of the book. It goes with the introduction, the skills, materials, instructions for the activity. And it gives you a try this at home or did you know? Good activities for you to create with your kid. Here we have the earth below water, soil and stone. Very simple activity, very fun to do. Something for you to have to look at uh, on the outside if you are doing nature study outside. And most of the activities is for you to be able to go outside and look for those materials and the good thing about it as well is the fact that it has the materials there's a section for the materials so if you want to plan ahead you don't have to start looking uh, for everything it's just right there so the minute you know that you're about to do that material you can just plan ahead because you have the materials in here that you're going to be needing beautiful beautiful pictures and just as a start for a nature study i think this was a good book for for me to purchase and uh, it's something that my son enjoys a lot he likes to be in nature he likes to go outside and explore and this is a good book for that that includes a little bit i will say it has a little bit of everything almost like my channel it has a potpourri a little bit of everything that you can encounter in nature you have in here so you have an activity to do that is related to all the stuff that you can encounter when you're going on those nature walks with your kids let me just go a little bit faster some of the pictures and activities. Very good to start introducing nature very gently. And here we have a skills checklist. and the glossary, resources, and the index at the end. I think that this was a good purchase. I love it. We've been using it in our homeschool. And uh, if you want to see more of what we've been doing during our homeschool days, you can go to my Instagram page and that is journal of a homeschooler as well and you can see what we've been doing and some of the projects that we've been creating with this book so i hope you guys enjoy this flip through the pages don't forget to hit like comment and subscribe to my channel i see you then bye bye